Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate certain tasks in LearnDash using a plugin called Automator. Now, what you might may find as a LearnDash administrator is that you're handling a lot of things manually. Things like you might email people when they finish courses, or you might move people from one course to another at certain times. And without some sort of automation plugin, these are all done manually and they can take up a lot of time. And the idea behind these automation plugins is that they do all that for you behind the scenes and free you up to do other things. So what I'm going to do as part of this video, just as a sort of real life example, is make it so people get enrolled onto this alumni course after they complete another course. So this is something that you might find in a, a lot of platforms where you have alumni information that people see after they've completed their course. What I'm going to do is just create an automation that handles that for me. So I'll head to the dashboard in the WordPress platform and then go over to plugins and then add new. And what I'm going to do is search for automator. Now there are a few automation plugins available. The one I'm going to install is this one though, uh, by Uncanny Owl. Uncanny Owl are uh, quite popular and they have their own LearnDash related plugins of their own. And uh, you know, they're very reputable around uh, the LearnDash space. And you can see that they've got very good reviews and the plugin was updated quite recently. So let's go ahead and install this. So Uncanny Automator has a free version with a, a few things you can do with it, but uh, they also have a pro version that you can upgrade to and, and do quite a lot more with. What we're going to do here is just use the free version and uh, show you the, the options that you have with that. So once that's installed, on the left-hand side here, we'll have Automator. And there are quite a few options here. I mean, I... Um, I won't go into every single bit of information here because what I want to do is keep this uh, to the point. And what I'm going to do is head to all recipes and show you that recipes are what Automator calls the automations. So you would have a number of potential automations happening and these are all called recipes. And what I want to do is create a recipe that means when someone finishes or completes a certain course, they are enrolled into another course called alumni. So let's go ahead and create that by going to add new. Firstly, we choose whether this only affects logged in users or everyone. And it's important to choose this uh, because it can't be changed later. Mo yeah, everyone who gets access to my LearnDash courses on this platform has to be logged in. So I'm going to choose logged in for that one. And I'm just going to add a title here of add, oh, add users to alumni. And what we have, what a recipe is made up of is a trigger and an action. So you have triggers that trigger the you know, something happening and then the action that happens based on that. So there are a few available and you can click into these to see what options there are. So um, in WordPress, you have automation when someone logs into the site, when someone logs out, when someone publishes a post, lots of different ones here. And what you have is some free ones that come with the free version of the plugin and pro ones that you get when you upgrade. But the key one here in terms of LearnDash is this LearnDash option. And likewise, there are some free and pro versions. But you can see ones here like it, user attempts a quiz, user completes a course, user completes a lesson, user completes a topic. What I want to do is choose the one here, user completes a course. And we can choose whether that's any course or specific courses. I'm going to choose this one here called Healthy Eating for Healthy Life and then click save. So what we can see here now is that our trigger for this automation is when the user completes the 
healthy eating for healthy life course. And you can also specify the number of times they have to complete the course. I'm just going to leave that as one. You can also choose whether this is a live or draft um, recipe here or automation. So we've created our trigger. And now what we want to do is create our action. So I'm going to create the action. And you'll notice here that there are a lot of different actions that we can do. So we can integrate with a lot of different platforms. So there are ones on WordPress where you can you know, change people's roles and things like that. There are a lot of third party integrations like Zapier and um, you know, in the pro version, things like MailChimp and, and other marketing applications that you might want people to be enrolled onto when they uh, do certain things on your platform. What I'm going to do here is go to Learn Dash and enroll the user in another course. And in this case, I'm going to choose the alumni course. So what happens? The user completes the Healthy Eating for Healthy Life course, and then they are enrolled onto the alumni course. When you've set up your recipe, what you'll need to do on the right hand side here is set it as live. So it'll be draft by default. And we can see here how many times that that's been completed, you know, just to get an overview of what um, what has gone on with this automation in the past. And we do have options to duplicate it and create, you know, copies of things. So let's give that a go now. What I'm going to do is log in as a user. And I have, as part, uh, as, as this user, been enrolled onto the Healthy Eating for Healthy Life course, but not the alumni course. And what we're testing now is that once I complete this, I should get access to the alumni course. So let's give that a go. This is just a basic course with some uh, you know, very basic content in here. I'm just going to mark it all as complete. And that's now been done. So we have completed that course to 100%. And in theory now, we have been given to the access to the alumni course. So that's worked. Upon completion of that course, we got given access to this course. So Automator handled all that behind the scenes. So I hope you find it useful. There are lots of different applications you can use for this. I mean, you can see how many different actions and triggers there were in there just to link certain things to one another. And with a bit of time invested now to set these up, you'll save yourself a ton of time later down the line in manual tasks from having to do all this sort of stuff manually. So it's a real big time saver and definitely a uh, plugin that you should be looking at as part of your course platform. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.